guess I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt.
All right, y'all had a good hunt this morning. It's almost 11 o'clock. I think we ended up seeing about 14. I think maybe two that I did, didn't get the camera on that was straight behind me, kind of moved through the stick stuff. And uh, I have my little Ruger and my bow this morning, just in case. I'd had a picture of that wide buck and I just wanted to go see him on the hoof. I almost shot him. He ain't quite what we want, but I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt like I usually do here. He is, uh, I, mean, I think he's four years old. Give him another, uh, another year. Maybe he put on some mass or something. I don't know, another day he walked by me with my bow. He might get shot. I just didn't want to really shoot him with my rifle. But, great hunt. Beautiful day, God. It wasn't but about 40 this morning, which to me is perfect. Ain't got many clothes on. Just move around a little better. It was uh, just beautiful this morning. So I tore my stand down. I'm just gonna run and get the four wheeler. Left my pack there. Just kind of saved my back. And uh, come back and come back and uh, get everything. And I'm gonna go hang it somewhere else real quick. And uh, I got a few things to get done before I gotta go get Cody today. Wasn't planning on staying this long. I was getting ready to get down. And that group of four does and little ones come through. I didn't want to spook them, so let them go on by and do what they're going to do. Now we finally hit it out. thing about these daisy chains if you don't catch them on that exact loop they sag a pretty good bit and I don't like that but other than that I like them super light I want to get that loop right there and I may not can oh yeah I got it come on get straight on it sticks high see what happens keep popping around see if we can't get lucky or a stick down here but get up there well, I think we can see down in it pretty good gonna be all right a little noisy getting in here but we'll get it. hey PJ hey girl what you doing no oh, sweet thing I need to get your deer to run don't we
All right, y'all went and did a little bit of looking around, just kind of snooping a little bit, staying ready. We're just going to do a little tree hopping until we find what we want. But let's get to today's Bible verse, still on the word bless. John 13, 17. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. All right, y'all, we had a pretty good day today. A super little hunt this morning. Y'all just don't know how much I like and happy and proud to be back in a tree. I was, I won't call it cheating this morning, but I had my bow, but I also had my little Ruger with me just in case of emergency. We needed to uh, reach out and tap one just a little further, then we could shoot the bow. Uh, so we are tree hopping. We're going to get on one, and then we're seeing good bugs. I got a picture of that one, the best wide buck we saw this morning. Uh, reality probably needs to be shot. But I'm, he's not hurting a thing. Uh, I'd love to give him one more year. If he come by with my bow, and I really got a good look at it, I had seen have seen that deer in the distance, and I'm just not sure. I like seeing these deer up close where I can really guesstimate their age and stuff the best I can. I usually guess them probably lower than they are, but that's better than the other way because we got big plans right there, and y'all can see. All y'all that's been watching so long, it is improving big time, big time. And we ain't done. We ain't nowhere near done. And we got several deer we're going to shoot. We just kind of got to get on them. The split brow tine had him at 50 yards. First time I saw him in the stand, should have shot him then. That just goes to show you get a shot at old deer, you better get him. Uh, I'm working on some uh, long range optics. Uh, I don't know if I'll get that done this year. Possibly, I don't know. I'm just kind of, this is when I do my stuff about midstream during the season. I don't fool with a lot of my gears. I always got new ideas in the, in the season and, and that's how I try to improve and get better. And, and the biggest reason, I'm gonna tell y'all this and y'all think I'm crazy. The biggest reason I want these optics for long range is and, and I don't want this to sound bad or nothing, but me and my buddy Mitt's been talking about it. He's got one. Uh, he, he can he can drop one at seven hundred thousand yards, and I've just never been into that. But it, it's it's what it's kind of getting to. It's kind of like a tool. If if I know, like I know a deer I'm gonna be shooting, and I can judge him, and like the split brow time deer, he is a super deer. But he's just not what I'm going to call a super trophy that I really want to put on the wall, even though I might, might mount him. He, he's a mature deer. We're going after five-year-old plus deer down there. A little simple rule right now is they got to weigh 200 pounds before we shoot them. And most likely down there, that's going to be a, a five-year-old plus deer. Uh, the big old seven point that we're going to put Cody on, uh questionable but i want to do a study on that there but the reason i want to do it if i get five or six or seven of them down there and uh it, it mess around and take you all season to fool with them things so if i can get a long range gun and get like the split brow tined out and a couple more that i'm thinking about and then find me a big old 10 point that i'm wanting to hunt then we get in there and get after him shoot him long range whatever you got to do just one option when you start managing like we're doing you get a, you, you, I, the further you get you're gonna get more shot opportunities uh, and I would rather shoot them deer we're not working on those yet and a lot of comments on that and I know I've talked about it in videos people must not watch them all or watch them to the end the reason we're not shooting those is because we're not to full carrying capacity and we're going to steadily be creating more food. And until I have that problem, I'm not going down there and just shooting the place up. We may shoot a few with our bows and stuff here and there. I was thinking about shooting one this morning when it came by just to just to stretch that bow out. And I'm probably going to do that. And then uh, what I want to do when I do shoot a doe, uh, I want to, I'm going to clean her. 
or if I carry the processor, I'm gonna stay there with them and clean her. I wanna see how healthy she is. I wanna look inside her and see how much fat she's got. Uh, you know, if they got plenty of fat, to me, my redneck thinking is uh, she's fine. We're doing okay. So that's kind of my plan. But anyway, I'm gonna have to cut this one off and uh, call it a day on this one. Appreciate y'all watching. Howdy.